Right, a couple of people have asked. So here's a quick video about capacitors. Um, I don't know if I've, I think I've done a video before. Uh, the point behind using the capacitor on a machine is because the armature bar on the machine, this wobbly bit here, is going up and down, you know, anything from 90 to 130 times a second or hertz uh, CPS cycles per second. So the capacitor is there to momentarily store a charge. Otherwise, you would have a big spark arcing across the gap when the armature piles down. The spark would arc across the gap without a capacitor, a big blue spark. It would burn out the front of the spring and it would burn out the contact screw. You might notice this sometimes on a machine as the capacitor wears out. For example, if it's been wired up wrong, stuff like that, um, and a life has been reduced, then um, or you might find you get a little a tiny little spark. Might be just time. It's a warning, might be time to change the capacitor. Okay, now, so that's what the capacitor does. It stores the excess charge. So that charge can't jump across that gap Exactly the same principle as the points and condenser of a, you know, an old classic car. With we were this is the condenser. Okay, it's just a smaller version of it, and it's called a capacitor. Right now, then, all of my machines use the same size capacitor, forty-seven microfarad or UF, twenty-five volt DC. Now the voltage is going to. If you have a higher voltage than that, it just makes for a bigger capacitor. It's pointless. You're never going to get anywhere near that voltage. So you, because you're only going to get up to maybe about, you know, 11 or 12 volts or something like that at the most, there's no point in having a 50 volt capacitor or something like that. So we have the, the next stage up, which in this case is 25 volts. Now, the 45, uh, 40, sorry, 47 microfarad, okay, that... Um, some of you may know that uh, Icon did a whole bunch of tests, which I then replicated, um, uh, changing capacitors to get different readings to make a machine speed up or slow down or hit harder and stuff like that. Okay, and yeah, if you put a, a 10 microfarad capacitor on instead of a, a, a 63 microfarad, yes, there will be a difference, an obvious difference because that gap is quite big, but you put it on a 10 or a 15 or a 15 or a 22 or you know the gap's going to be nothing it might be one hertz difference okay so forget it as far as i'm concerned i settled on one size of capacitor and for a simple reason that if one of my customers phones up and says uh ah my machine the capacitor's got a big blue spark okay capacitor failure I'll put one in a post, no problem there, and just bolt it on. Um, my capacitors are wired separate from the coils. That's how I make my coils, and then I put the capacitor in separately. I'll explain the red bit in a minute. Okay, and that's why, if there's ever a failure, you haven't got to cut the circuit, you haven't got to solder anything, you can just bolt a new capacitor in. It's purely ease of use that I do that, and it is uh, purely uh, also ease of service, ease of use, using the same capacitors across every machine. It doesn't change for lighters or shaders. There's no point. You can tune between lighters and shaders with uh, your gap, your voltage, and your tension on the um, rear spring. So, and spring gauges, of course, and spring lengths. So last thing you need to do is worrying about this. So all of my machines have the same capacitor. If in the event of a very rare failure, because these are good, um, I'll just send a new one out, okay? No, there's no charge for it, as long as I sold you the machine originally, okay? Um, if you've got it off of eBay, then I will still send it to you, but you've got to pay. Right now, um, I get these from RS Components. They're made in Austria, a company called Vichy, okay? The part number, in case you're interested, is 3245161. 5, that's the part number for RS components. You can type that in, it will come up. These used to be about 50, 55 p each. Now they're, I think they're about, best part of two quid each with the VAT. Um, 
It's, but I bought so many of them when they were cheap. Um, I've only just checked out the price. You know, I bought hundreds years ago. So um, I think this is probably my last pack of the old stock. Okay. Now, let me just show you quickly why on my capacitors you've got that little red bit. That is because that is to go on the bottom. Here's a frame. This is frame uh, for machine number two. So we're just going to use that quickly. So it goes in the bottom like that. Okay, like that and comes up to the top. Now, you have to feed the positive from your power on your clip cord. It has to go in the bottom and go into the capacitor because the capacitor, I mark it with a red bit just because I've covered the capacitor with some heat shrink to protect it. All capacitors have this indentation here. That is the feed side, so the, the side that goes towards the bottom of the machine where the positive end of the clip cord goes in. It's also marked with positive, might even have an arrow going up the capacitor showing you the feed direction. So the direction of the positive feed that's called the feed side that's called the load side okay so that's the feed so once it's on a machine where was that chinese machine i had i was just going to show you uh, on the machine itself you need to get a clip cord or check your clip cord and so you know which side is positive and which is negative you've got an icon clip cord it will be marked because you'll have a red side and a black side Red side is the positive and should always feed down into the bottom. However, there are builders that have put their capacitors in the wrong way around, as is the case here. Um, effectively, they, they, I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing, because they, you know, some of them build good machines, but um, they also don't know about capacitors. Okay, so let me just explain quickly. If you put the positive in here, it goes up through the capacitor, up to the contact screw, and that contacts onto the armature bar uh, when you touch your foot pedal or however you're working it okay which then pulls it down goes back up if you put the positive into there okay that hole there then what you're doing is making the frame live effectively so the frame will be the live part and the negative, and it will have to travel all the way through here and all the way down the coils uh, to meet the negative. And that's uh, not an efficient way of doing it, okay? It's not an efficient way for the machine to run. I have tested this, and I've done it both ways with various sets of coils, and it did actually make a difference. It was a small difference, but it did make a difference to the way the machine ran. Um, and also, although I can't prove this right now, um, but over the lifespan of the capacitor itself, it can possibly <laughs> reduce the lifespan of the capacitor. Um, and so that is why when I started building and reverse engineering and all of that, when I built my first machine, that is why I started like that. And... It's not a new concept because, I've, and I've got some here, because Icon themselves, with their capacitors, there's a, there's a um, that's a 22 microfarad capacitor. Um, but as you will see on theirs, rather than a red bit, they have a short red side. So that's the, the positive side. And they even icon know that you know <laughs> an icon were pretty much in their day an industry standard with the machine gun magazine put a lot of people on the building stuff like that so um i kind of think they're worth listening to if you don't listen to me listen to them read up their stuff machine gun magazine there's eight volumes of it and you will learn a lot uh, by getting it from somewhere and so this video is now just 10 minutes long which is probably twice as long as i planned it to be hope it's been of some use or help in explaining everything to you about capacitors again i'll repeat um if you well stay safe obviously take care need any info 
give me a shout. I can do a video on it, stuff like that. Hope this helps. Goodbye, take care.